evil creature of the night, killer of mouse and other vermins. I got you! <laughs> you can't flee away from me! You can't! <laughs> We're starting Sluber. This is the same Sluber that I used to install, to give the, the zero hardware debug demo and also the same where I change the settings so you don't get the CDT indexer errors anymore. So now we're going to um, add ESP uh, stuff. So the first thing you need to do is install the ESP boards. Uh, that's already done here because my previous recording somewhere got lost. So these to you need to be installed otherwise you can't do it okay and the next thing to do is create a new configuration so Arduino manage configuration a new one and that's called ESP release Based on release, okay, okay, we go to ESP release here. You may ask why I'm not setting it active here immediately. I have the impression, I'm actually pretty sure, that that does not work really good. So it's better to do it, do not do it here, but the way I show it to you. Okay, apply and close. So I always change it here or in the CDT or the CDT menus, but not when I'm in the releases. You can see it because here the names will not always change and stuff like that. So now it changes to ESP module and stuff like that. It's always good to check whether the indexer is ready. Uh, to see errors, check whether the indexer is ready. Now uh, we can build this one. Oops. I forgot to change the COM port. These are leftovers from previous previous trial, as I said. That's the safest way to be sure everything is gone. Just delete the folder. So, built. Oh no. Yes, Mr. Jan Bayens. Never ever use spaces anywhere. Or you get weird results. Okay, okay. Apply and close. Existing okay. release. 
So the answer to the question, can I use spaces in configurations? No, you cannot. This is built. And now we're in uploaded. I can't show you anything because there's not even a LED connected to it, but I think the fact that he says it's been uh, uploaded, uh, uploaded fine, should be okay. After all, we are even going to debug it. So ESP debug based on ESP release. That's a little bit less work. Okay, so we go to ESP debug and we change this to the Antje ESP and we apply and close. Now we change here to build configurations ESP debug. And you see now he's red here, but the index was still working. That's because I have set my settings to have an other indexer each time you uh, change the uh, configuration. But that way, if I now go to pin mode, at least I can see here that it's the uh, ESP I get here and not one of the zero or whatever. So, um, we're going to, uh, where are we now? Okay, we are on the debug, so, build. So, the build is fine, we can upload again. Now we make a debug configuration, so we can debug it. So basically the debug configuration is something to start your, uh, your debugger. That's basically it. So we say it has to be ESP debug, um, search project. So we have to have one for the debug. So the debugger so if you look here, this is where I installed, and then you have Yantje hardware, ESP, the version number, debug, and there you have the extensor debugger. And you also need this as config file. And then you stop on setup pests and not on, not on uh, main. Then the connection is a serial connection, and you have there backslash dot backslash com thirty three on. So if we say debug now, it won't work. And why it won't work? Because there's a huge difference between the zero and the ESP for debugging. And that's the zero you can debug without having to modify your code. For ESP, you need to add some stuff to your code. So while he's trying to go uh, and find where he needs to be, we're going to do include G D B dot H. Uh, save that one. See, he says it didn't work. Basically, he's been able to connect, but he gets a timeout. And why does he get a timeout? Because the debugger, the source, the, so the source. The debugging source is not on the platform. So, because we have now GDB added, he added here GDB and it contains examples 
and if you open this example you see that you need this one here if you already have a serial begin make an end if and stuff like that so, okay well that's one and the second thing that needs to be done is the ROM think so if you want to method be able to put a breakpoint in if method oops wrong button v rom funk oh. oh i'm just doing a lousy job now it's getting dark here i don't see my keyboard anymore So ROM frink for setup and ROM sub for loop and this should do it. So now we are compiling it again. We are uploading it. Okay, debug is. If anyone knows how I can get here the correct debugging stuff, I would be really pleased to know. So we have here created the zero demo. Start it again. And now it works. So now we're actually doing hardware debugging on uh, the ESP. So if we do, so we have step into, that's a typically command that we step into the method, the first method that's being called. So here the first method that will be called will be milis. So if you do F5, we will step into milis. So here you are now in milis, the method, as you can see, very weird thingy. And you can also see that we are in the ESP code if you check here the variables you see that these are optimized out because they have not yet been uh, yeah, initialized i would say so um, now you see here what the values are what it returns um, you can go a bit further for instance here there's uh, timers yeah, you can right click and say add watch expression. So you flow timers. So you see that I already did added the delay timer in a previous unrecorded session. So this is a class which contains members and one of those members is a click and a class. And so you can go and inspect all these values and change them. So you can change them here. I'm not going to change them, knowing what I'm doing. I don't like changing things I don't know about. Um, but that's uh, a way to look at the variables. For, okay, for a quick look. You also have F7. F, in F7, you're actually stepping out of the method because we were in milis. We're now out of milis. Um, and what we're going to do is, so current milis is 88068. Yeah. And if you do F8, it just runs until the next breakpoint. And we're going to change this breakpoint here, which is on line 56, to breakpoint properties, common names. Yeah, so that would mean that he will pass by 50 times before we will stop again. Uh, we should see that when we, because when we press F8, we get here, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, why did I take 60? It's okay, I'm clicking a lot of 
you can see here the original count going down seven five three two one go oops so now he stops here so you then where you can put a breakpoint for something that happens after the, after the 50th time or something like that so that's for as much for debugging with the ESP thank you and hope you have fun with this if you like this uh, video please give it a like and please become a patron if you like Slooper thank you bye bye